よし What's going on, guys? It's you here, bringing you another review on Food Wars. And this episode was really, really good, honestly. I, to me, at least, I really enjoyed it. It was a bit fast paced because we get to see everything. We see the end of one match, then what's going on somewhere else, and then we get to see the battle of, that Tsukasa was having. And it was just, it was fast paced, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I really, really enjoyed that because there's still a lot to try to squeeze in, and we're already on episode seven. So, I mean, we got a lot to cover still. And so, for this one, we get to see how the end of the battle between both Sarge and Yukihito went. Obviously, we know who wins here. Soma it comes out winner. Uh, I love that he was able to do all these, like, natural, like, desserts. Because, you know, obviously, you know, it, it sugars and and uh, artificial flavors and all that add on to something. But when you can make it naturally sweet, that's just so much better and so i really enjoyed his dish and when sarge tries it like she is completely blown away like she starts imagining being around asahi and you know kind of like in a christmas vibe and it was kind of fun to watch that like i guess her little scene so it was enjoyable and so at then we get to see like her still kind of accepting defeat but at the same time she's like all right well you're strong but you're not going to be in enough to be as strong as to be able to defeat Asahi. Is the skills are in his knife. And it's like, what do you mean? And obviously we get to know what that means later on. And so it was also kind of cool to see, once again, uh, Drijito kind of actually, you know, giving his thoughts on how Soma, under any normal circumstance, was able to maybe lose. But because he was being challenged every day since, I guess you can say, since he was a child, we see that he's able to compete to this level. Like, he's had so many kind of different challenges thrown by Juichiro, which I'm like, where was Juichiro's, like, you know, trying to grow as well? Like, I would have wanted to see him be more of a... I know he's always beat Soma, which makes him, obviously, a tougher rival, but I wanted to see more of that in the past, but it is what it is. We then get to see the rest of the Noirs kind of like, I guess you could say kind of having a, a rebellion against Sasahi, if you would say. These guys actually, we, and we don't get to see it, but like a little snippet of where Sarge is kind of like voluntarily giving her item away. But we see that the other Noirs are just like, we're not like Sarge. We're not loyal to you. We're here for the ride. And because of that, I guess we see that uh, Asahi just kind of takes what he wants and defeating them, taking them out of the competition and then getting ready to battle Tsukasa. Who Tsukasa was like, the way they were setting him up here, I thought it was really cool because he was really ready to go. He was really just at it and just like, he seemed pumped and excited. And we also get to see his growth. Like he was definitely growing as a chef. Like we see how his cooking style has evolved. In fact, before we saw that how he would appreciate and understand the ingredients. But now he's gone to the point to where not only is, do, is he doing that, but he's also kind of like, I guess you could say, adding on himself into the ingredients, making it much better. So we see that his dish is evolving. They both have chicken for the, I guess, the uh, challenge for this round. And they both make the same thing and they both finish at the same time. And it's interesting how Asahi at the very beginning of their battle was like, you know, you and I could have gotten along. You know, you're, we're polar opposites, but we could have gotten along just fine. And that would have been cool to have seen, you know, if, if, like more interaction between these two. But, it, you know, obviously, you know, that, it wasn't going to happen. And we also get to see other members of showing up as well. You know, seeing Kuga and Ishiki was great. I love seeing more of the familiar faces cheering them on. They're there to cheer up, you know, everyone. And that was really cool to have them at being there as support. But... Because the way uh, Asahi does things, he uses his own ability called Cross Knives, which combines kind of like what Misaka had, where he was tracing to kind of like whenever he touches someone else's uh, cooking item or weapon of choice, I guess you could say, we see that they actually, he's able to obtain that ability and their cooking style, which then kind of makes him... 
I guess, a jack of all trades because he's usually he's using everyone else's ability, fusing it with other abilities. They're making their better dish, and therefore him winning the round, which is sucky because Sukasa just kind of sips tea and it's like you cannot lose, and it's like I know he's heartbroken, like to wait to lose like this, you know. So it was a great fight. We're gonna get Aldini next week, so I'm really excited. But let me know what you guys think. I'd love to know your thoughts. As always, though, stay safe, guys, and I will catch you later.